In this short video, I will talk about the valves of the heart that keep blood flowing in one direction. There are two different types of valves, atrioventricular valves, which as its name suggests, separate the atrium and ventricles, and semilunar valves found at the base of the pulmonary artery and aorta. AV valves situate like this in the heart and allow blood flow to move downward from atrium to ventricles. As the blood passes the valve, if it pushes back on the outer side of the atrioventricular valve, it forces the valve shut, ensuring a one-way delivery of blood. Always attached to atrioventricular valve are heart strings known as chordae tendinae that keep the valves from flipping back upward into the atrium, ensuring, again, one-way delivery. The atrioventricular valve on the right side of the heart is the tricuspid, you can think of the letters T-R-I and rearrange them into R-I-T to help you remember the tricuspid is on the right side of the heart. The bicuspid valve is on the left side of the heart. This two-leaflet valve is also known as the mitral valve, which is similar to a mitral hat, which is a type of hat often seen worn by a bishop or the pope. As we can see in this sheep heart, here are chordae tendinae attached to this atrioventricular valve. And here we can see a very clear representation of chordae tendinae attached to this atrioventricular valve. This thick myocardium surrounds the left ventricle, so this is the bicuspid valve. The thinner myocardium on this side surrounds the right ventricle, so this is the tricuspid. The semilunar valves are at the base of the pulmonary artery and the aorta. They are named accordingly. The semilunars at the base of the pulmonary artery are known as pulmonary semilunars, and at the base of the aorta, aortic semilunars. Its name means half moon, and in the heart they situate as this arrangement. As blood moves up through the valve, it opens, and when blood tries to move back, it backfills and shuts the valve, closing it off ensuring, again, one-way direction. In the superior diagram, we can see the semilunar valves of the pulmonary valve and the aortic valve. You can also see the tricuspid on the right side of the heart, tri, three cusp, one, two, three, and bicuspid on the left side of the heart, bi, two leaflets, one, two. Here we can see the semilunar valves are open as the heart is in systole or the ventricles are contracting and the AV valves are closed. When the ventricles are in diastole or relaxation state, we can see the semilunars are closed and the AV valves are open. It's this alternating opening and closing of the valves that accounts for the heart sounds. Lub, dub, lub, dub, lub, dub. In some situations, the valves do not function correctly, and blood can backfill, creating swishing sounds, known as heart murmurs. Other cases, valves can stiffen, causing a condition known as valvular stenosis. Some of these will be replaced by artificial valves. Artificial valves, or even valves from a pig heart, can then further redistribute correct blood flow through the valves.